Hi, my name is Peter Felfer, and that's another tutorial for my OpenVA analysis programs. This one is one of the very basics, and that's actually how to export uh, .post files, add-on prop files into um, into 3D software, for which can have two different purposes. The first purpose is to create analysis objects, and the other purpose is to um, to create animations or images or whatever uh, with the renderer in the 3D software, which is of course better than anything you get in a, in a scientific program and you can do a lot more different things with it. So in order to do that, you'll have to download the general tools that are actually um, that are actually found on the on on the Blender export page on my homepage. And you will find the different programs that are one we, that we need is to create OBJ from post and XRange. So you have a post file, obviously. You need to create an XRange file with the XRange editor, which is um, which is also which also can be found on, on the page. And you can download it and create an XRange file from your from your post file. So what you need to do is to just go create. Um, create OB, OBJ from post and X range. I'll start the program and uh, you choose the, the .x range file that you're using, which in this case I'm going to use the, uh, the same data set that I had used for um, that I had used for the tutorial on the X range editor. Um, so you go here and you've got the clock blah 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 bug X range file. Just go and pick that one or whatever whatever yours is, and then the according dot post file. Which in this case, I'm just going to use the entire post file if the computer lets me. And you open that, and next thing is it asks you. How you want to have it decomposed and with compo what components of different OBJ files. So it's not just one OBJ file. I, I forgot to mention that you get one OBJ file per species, and you define what sort of species you want to have. Whether you want to have atomic species, isotopic species, or ionic species. Um, and usually you will just pick atomic and just go OK. It starts decomposing your post file into its into its constituent sub post files. And I'll ask you if there is relatively large POS items, whether you want to have all of them or just a subset of them. Uh, I want to have all aluminium, which in this case is 2.4 million atoms, so we're probably still going to use full, because nickel and aluminium are the important ones in there. So we want to have them as full files. And that would be somewhere between 50 and 100 megabytes, probably. And chromium, we don't need that, so we can exclude that. We don't need iron, and we need nickel, so we use the full one here. You can later downsample it in, in, in Blender as well by, by reducing the vertex count, so if, if it really gets, gets to be. But usually it's just better if you, can, if you can cut it down a bit. And it should be finished fairly soon. And that's it for the MATLAB part. So the next next part is simply how to um, how to import it into Blender. Just you open Blender, you can get it from www.blender.org, or if you prefer your other proprietary software such as Modo or 3ds Max or whatever, you can use that as well. Uh, first thing is delete the default scene. We're not going to need the default scene at all. What we need is um, is simply the um, simply the the, um, the empty scene. So you go file import wait for an OBJ. Um, click on that one before. So you've got the aluminium here, and you see the aluminium and nickel are fairly large. The other ones are the other ones are relatively small. And of course, chromium and iron were rejected them, so they are just just gels. Anyway, we'll click on that, and then very important, you need to go here and click on Keep Vertex Order. Otherwise, it will create, it will drop any vertex that's not part of a triangle, 
and we and all of our vertices are not part of a triangle so you wouldn't see anything in the end you would just not get anything so that's a very important thing and then you just click import obj and that's it that's how you that's how you create create it in and you can see that's your post file and if you deselect it oh, sorry i need to change the user preferences to input emulate through the oh it's there it's weird should be should be rotating anyway that's your that's your atom probe data and um, you can use that for animation and for for any other things um, you need to load in different the different elements one by one if you want to have more than one so you need to go import wavefront obj and load in um, load in the, the nickel separately if you want to have that so I'll just do that and for creating objects there's one other very important thing and that's the con that's the, the alpha hull of the data set and what the alpha of the data set is is simply I'll click on the orthographic view um, the alpha hull of the data set is simply the the outline of the data set so that you know where the data set ends um, and you can use that for modeling purposes uh, as well so you just go file import wait for an obj and you will find a hull so here you can see that's the name of the of the post file we had first obj export um, hull we go import obj and there we go so if i now switch those two onto invisible you can see that we've got the uh, if we've got the alpha hull now we can use for modeling later.